Hey guys, welcome back to some more Cricket 19 and part 19 of our Ashes series playthrough with England in today's episode. We continue the fifth and final test match, the decider, and we have just bowled out Australia for 273. Joe Denley, mightily impressive, 4 for 53 there. James Anderson, 2 for 69. And Joffre Archer, 2 for 74. Let's see what we've got in our uh, pocket in terms of uh, our baton display. So here we go. We've got Rory Burns and Joe Denley opening uh, for us today. A few of us to survive. Plays and misses. Yeah, nice, nice shot to goal. get off the mark there for Rory Burns. England get started with one. So just got to play cautiously, bat out the rest of the day, survive it. Oh. That's an edge. Just a lack of concentration there. I think. Well, this is. Gonna be good bowling from Pat Cummins, so just gotta expect it, just gotta play it defensively. Get on top of the ball, maybe come over a little bit. It is bringing the LBW into play by doing that, but allows us to get nice nicely into the, the line that Cummins is bowling. Was a, a risk going for that. Australia, but we're all right. A good session and for there's the end of the day. The betting side really didn't make an impact. So there's the end of the day. One for none. Uh, we managed to survive that last over there. So here we go again. Burns and Denley starting the day, and Josh Hazelwood is going to ball from the other end. Day two begins of this final. That's just test match, and what a start to the day. Clobbered away for four. It was a bit risky playing it that early on, first ball, but... You know, there was a nice gap there, and I thought I'd go for it. It's a very short delivery. Miss times that one. It's coming from uh, round the wicket now. It's going to be attacking these stumps. Oh. Oh. Just expecting the movement in there. It wasn't quite the case. He's coming back over the wicket. He's getting in our heads here. Yep. There you go. This time we can... Play it off the pads, we can come back this for two. Well, for two. that was poor running, really, from Rory Burns, but we managed to get through. Yep. Yeah, that time, and a lot better timed. Keeper. Needs to be on target. That was Rory Burns, just there. slow running. But nine off, uh, or oh, eight off that over, nine for none. Yes. Played that Flicked off the legs. Way. He's off the mark with that shot. Pat Cummins coming round the wicket to Rory Burns. Well, 
bit intimidating there. And turn we play the defensive shot. We're doing all right here so far. It's a late decision to play that, but we're all right. Three over has gone. Doesn't play that one well. Shot on the onside. Yeah, good fielding. Swing and a miss. Defensive drive. Yes. Yeah, good shot off the pads. Push for two here. Needs a direct hit. Good running. And that's the end of a very good over. Very good. Fourteen for none. What a ball. That was a leading edge. We're okay. Again, a leading edge. Just playing it a little bit early, a little bit eagerly. That was a, a bit of a, a dodgy one. We're going to have a little look at the uh, review for that one. Because that felt very close, but yeah, it was missing off stump apparently. So, time to simulate 10 overs now. I really hope that the AI have brought their batting gloves today. Mm, both openers gone. 21 and 24, Root and Stokes at the crease. 70 for 2 here. Mm. Yep, well, well. That's an edge. Could be close. 
think Stokes is better equipped to deal with Nathan Lyon than Joe Root. Batsman defending that one. Nice delivery. Good delivery there. That had the batsman defending. It's very much not easy to play this. Yes. Yeah. Well played. 72 for two. That's the end of the over. Two runs added. So here comes drinks. Jason Roy, I bet you he was wishing he was out there. Just a lack of concentration there. Marsh is the man that's got both wickets so far. That's a huge edge, that's going to be four. It's too close to the body, but massive edge. One bounce four. That's what happens sometimes. A nice one off the pads. Left again. Yep. Well, I noticed a gap in the leg side, so thought we'd walk across There's our crease and get a couple of runs. End of the over. Seventy-nine for two. Good ball there, getting the batsman defending. Beautiful shot from Joe Root, but nothing comes of it. Oh, ho, 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 wow. That was almost dead and buried. So was that. Wow. So I'm going to come out and be creased just a little bit. End of the over. 81 for two. The right arm pace bowler is coming into the attack from the pavilion end. So here comes Peter Siddle. It's good balling. Oh. 
swing and a miss. The batsman misjudging that one. Again, a little top edge there. Nothing I could have done about that. It was well timed. It was the right shot to play. That's out though. That's out. Joe Root gone. Yeah, thin edge. And he's gone for 20. We've been so disciplined. Arrives at the crease. Just one lapse in concentration and we've lost the wicket of Joe Root. End of a really good over, taking a wicket and really slowing down the pace of the scoring. Hazelwood has well well. Hazelwood back into the attack as well. Yes. Needs to be on target. Again, just leaving that one. Doesn't play that one well. One more delivery here. And then the simulation time. Turnovers. And no wickets fall. That's what we want to see. So 130 for three now. Mitch Marsh back into the attack. This is the last over before lunch, I believe. Edge again. Yep. <laughs> that hit the stump, so it was out. I'm okay for now. It's over the head again. But he takes it. That's 50 partnership. The partnership is now 50 runs. and misses. Bit of a soy ball there from Mitch. Yep. It's a good stop. Club at that one. So the last ball before lunch I believe. Ends the over. Ends of the over. The batting team are now three for 134. No drinks apparently. So the umpire signals lunch no, on the second day of this test match, and both teams head for the pavilion. Well, 
decent session for us. 134 for 3. So, uh, a good 133 runs coming from that session. Which is very important for us on day 2 here. We're only uh, 139 behind. We've still got 7 wickets to go. Batsman needing to go on the defensive there. Good ball. Oh. Plays that defensively. Good ball. from Nathan Lyon. A tidy oh, over. No. It's a moment. Maiden over. And now, 134 to 3. Yes! This should be close. Back into it with that run. It's the first uh, run after lunch then. Yep. Oh, fished for that one. contact. I think if we'd made, uh, edged it anyway it would have <laughs> flew to the, the boundary for six probably. Yep. Oh, oh that's, that's a cracking shot. shot. That's going to be four runs for Ben Stokes. Oh no it stopped. Wow. What a stop. On the boundary there. Saves two runs. Nicely. Gets two. That was a fabulous stop on the boundary. Stokes starting to hit the ball nicely. End of the over. Four runs coming from it. And now on 138 for three. Doing too badly here. Had to play that early. Gets him playing defensively there. Good use of the slow ball. Getting bogged down in these spin spin overs. This is where wickets fall. We've just been very disciplined. Only playing the balls we absolutely have to play. Oh, nice and tidy in that over. No runs added. Well, 
24. Ulva's right gone now. Into the attack from the pavilion end. So here comes Pat Cummins back into the attack. So the ball three over so far. We want to make an impact. Just a lack of concentration there. Yep. Well, what an edge. And that's going to be four. Well, that's his 50. Wouldn't have been the way he wanted to bring it up, Ben Stokes, but he's had a fabulous series. And there's another 50 for him. Well, massive edge there. And there's air that's a massive edge. Well, that's going to be another four. No, it's six. Wow. Well, that's the speed of Pat Cummins for you. That a massive top edge. Look at this. Six runs. Expensive that over. So you go 148 for three. Well, brilliant 50 from Ben Stokes so far. And time to simulate another 10 overs. And there you go, these two still going. So Ben Stokes on 74 and Johnny Bairstow on 40 yards. We'll be back with the action in just a second. Right, here we go guys. Back with the action. Ready for another five overs. Only trailing by 81 now. These two have had a nice little partnership. Hopefully we can continue that. Right there. It was a nice shot, but straight to the fielder, unfortunately. Wait. Again, a nice little shot, but straight to the fielder once again. It's been a decent over so far by Labashon. Ooh, that one was stopped. Well played. From both teams there. Oh, a maiden over there. Well. Drinks come out. There we go. Lion balling from the other side as well, so a bit of spin pressure. Well, that was a terrible delivery. That goes wide. The bowler a bit disappointed in the call. <laughs> that could be out. Like well, it is. Breakthrough there. Could we be seeing the tide start to turn here? The batsman. Uh, we're going to challenge that. I don't think we're going to get much luck from it. Just got to hope for height here, really. Pitching in line. Impact in line. The umpire was convinced, yeah. and the tape tells the story. Well played. Ah, uh, so that breaks the partnership up, and well, there you go. 
But you can see why they went for the review. A big partnership broken, so hopefully a new batsman is rearing to go. Batsman needing to go. Good delivery. Good ball. Good delivery and just a little bit of pressure on us here. We've got to ride this out now. That's a nice shot. Gets him off strike. Gets Stokes back on strike. The settled man. That's exactly what we need, I think, at this stage. Outside the line there. And Australia don't go for the review and I think you know, I don't think it was anywhere near. It's probably a bit too short as well. Yeah, impact outside off. Was hitting the stump so so at least two parts of it were right. A nice shot off the pads. Push hard for two here. And that's good running. One wicket falls in that over. The batting team are now on four for 196. So we'll have a from the other end. Ooh. Once again, just not quite. That's fun, Miles. Uh, not quite what we wanted there, but um, quite funny commentary anyway. Waiting. So I've just got to chip away at this now. Try and build the rest of this innings. We're not going to lose by an innings. We're, we're very much in this match. Yes, yes. Plays that nicely along the ground. Just the one. away for one. I'm hoping Josh Butler can find his top form today. Yes, yes. He's had a, an average series really. Had a couple of good performances, a couple of shaky ones. Quite a good over. Well, there's the 200 up. 200 for four. Onto the back there. Just a single. Well, once again, lead and edge there. Had that a few times. That's a nice shot though, swept for four. Yep. Could be close. Well, that was a direct hit, good job that we Pushed on a little bit there. Two more balls to go in this over. Yes. It's a 
lovely shot from Ben Stokes. It was a little bit in the air. Not too bad. Safely plays that along the ground. So a little bit early on that, but just a single. 208 for four. The now on. change of the ball and Peter Siddle comes back into the attack. Plays a good delivery. Run, just about did. Missed. Oh, that's a big edge for four. Don't know if that was at a height the keeper could have caught. I don't think it was. It was over the keeper's head. Another thick edge from Ben Stokes. That's nicely flicked off the pads. That's going to run. And that's going to go for four, I think. Beautiful shot. Good shot. That's what we're talking about. Pinging off the bat. That's four runs. Yep. One time this, he makes a good contact with the ball. Comes back for two. Good running. Into the 90s now. That's ball before the simulation then. It's yes, yes. off the pads. Oh, just about made that. So 220 for four. So here we go. Simulate 10 overs. Ah, and Josh Butler goes for 24, but Ben Stokes still there on 109. Sam Curran has just come to the crease. We'll have a shot still going. Yep. It's nicely played, lovely leg glance. Come back for the two here. Two runs. Past the field there. This could be out. It's good running. Runs Trailing by seven now. Still got five wickets remaining. Yes. Another nice leg glance there. Coming back for two. And two runs added to the scoreboard. the question well that's gone disappointed to get out but what a great innings it was, it was a big it's stride a forward I'm gonna have a little look the review is on yeah not sure in line the impact is in line. And it's just the clipping top stump, and there you go. So Ben Stokes gone, that's a big wicket. And Labashan's the man that's got him. That but what a brilliant innings, 115 from Ben Stokes in a brilliant series so far. Have no reviews remaining. So, here comes Chris Walks. And that can get some good runs. First ball and he's off the mark. That's all home from these two. Yes. 
Going to have a change in the commentary box. Joining me now is Mel Jones. Hey, Slats. Nice to be with you. That's the end of the session. On day two of this test match, and both teams head back for the pavilion. Some cracking shots in that session from the likes of Ben Stokes. But there we go. That's the end of the session. 270 for six. Still got four wickets in hand. We're only four runs behind the Australians and uh, looking good to get a first innings lead. And that's exactly what we'll be hoping for. Josh Hazelwood to bowl the first ball after tea. Edges it. Well, that was a lead and edge. It's okay though. And that's the first run in this session. Swing and a miss. That was a weird shot, but we're all right. And we got scores a level. That's out though. A huge shout from behind the stump. What a delivery that was. Chris Walk's gone for one, another poor innings from him Bit of a task for in this series. Here. Trying to turn this innings around. And now here uh, comes Joffre. What can Joffre Archer do? Oh, yeah. That could be out. And it is. Appeal. Well, that's two wickets. He's a key player in this batting lineup, but he's out first ball. That's a big wicket. Broad, the new batsman, and there's a big task ahead of them to steady this innings. Patrick Ball for Josh Hazelwood. Yes. Ah, nicely played from Stuart Broad. I'm going to come back for two. So we're in the lead now. Very good over there. Two wickets taken. Yeah, it's disappointing we lost those two wickets, but the second one was a pitch of a, a delivery from Hazelwood. The first one we could have probably avoided. But we've still got Sam Curran. So, Stu Broad has got a test match sentry, so, you know, I wouldn't say it's all over just yet. It's a lovely shot. Just the one off it though. shot once again from Stuart Broad. He's timed his first few shots beautifully. Oh, the batsman oh. had no idea what to do with that. Great piece of bowling. Bowling there kept them quiet. The batting team are now eight for 280. Oh. Swing and a miss. The batsman misjudging that one. Just a lack of concentration there. Oh, look, the 
gap on the leg side. Oh, just a bit early on that. Just got away with that. Oh. End of the over. England are now two hundred and eighty one. Still got to be reasonably disciplined here. And we can milk a few more runs out of this. Yeah. Nice little glance down. Two runs for Sam Curran there. He's played that nicely. Gets two. shot. Another two runs there. Two runs off that delivery. So two more balls of this phase before the simulation. End of the over, a good one for the batting side. There we go. So this time we will stop uh, after a wicket. But there we go, we make it. Ah, well, what a shame. Sam Curran bowled with um, only a couple of balls left in the simulation. So we've got uh, James Anderson coming in now. Anderson is the 316 new for nine. So can Anderson keep keep him out? Yes. It's a lovely shot. Anderson gets off the mark. Good lead here, you know, decent. Five runs in that over. So 73 overs gone. Cummins, the pace bowler, is coming into the attack from the northern end. Oh, well, I just thought I'd go for it, and what a shot that is. What a shot that was from Jimmy Anderson. Oh. Plays and misses. Yes. That's a massive edge, but it's going to be four runs. Having to swing at it, a flash at it. Massive edge, but there's nobody there waiting for it. It's four runs. What a delivery. But a little bit of movement there with the old ball and that'll encourage these two currently at the at the crease. Oh, 
That's a bit of an expensive over. There you go, 74 overs gone now. So, what can we do? It's gone over 50 now. Batsman needing to go on the defensive there. Good ball. Went for that. Yep. That was a bit full, and that's uh, running away here. Just two. They get back for two. Delivery from Nathan Lyon. Yes. Slight edge. Once again, didn't go to the field. Eh? We're riding our luck a little bit here, but surviving. Steady over there. there we go. 75 overs gone now. 16 overs remaining in the day. I want to try and prolong that as, as long as possible. Because we'd like to get to a situation where we're bowling at them for like the, the final five overs or something of the day. A lovely shot. Three thirty up now. It's just frustrating the Aussies slightly. All of these uh, bonus runs for us, really. Swing and a miss. from Broad there. 3.33 up now. It's just psychologically getting a lot tougher for the Aussies to set a good total in this match now. It's in the air, but there we go again. 3.34 for nine. There's drinks. Oh, here it comes again, Nathan Lyon, trying to get him. He's the more likely to get the wicket, you would feel. Plays that defensively. The, the spinner's a lot more awkward to play, I think. You sort of don't know where you're timing it a lot more. And there you go, once again, a terrific delivery. Went for it. The job's just short. We're going to come back for two as well. Good running. It does just put them under that little bit more pressure. Yes. That's a nice little shot there as well. Going to try and come back for two. And, and we've made it. Burnley Lara. That could be out. And it is. 
So this well innings balls. has come to an end with the last wicket to fall. So there you go, Jimmy Anderson, uh, the last wicket, the last man to fall. And there it is then, our in innings. Um, only 150 from the whole side was that wonderful 115 from Ben Stokes. But uh, everybody else, you know, sort of did their job. Uh, 20s and, and 30s uh, for the most part. And, you know, only really Chris Walks and Joffrey Archer were, were the ones not to offer anything to the, the side. But, uh, no, from... 83 to th for three to, to be bowled out for 338 with a lead of 65 runs. I think we can be really, really proud of that and uh, we can move on now uh, for the rest of the match. So if you have enjoyed that, then make sure you leave a like down below. Really does help me out, means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for regular Cricket 19 videos and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.